Hey guys, uh, here I pull it up to transport. Few more things I forget. <laughs> I didn't work on Dragon quite a while. So there is two wires, two more wires. This one, red, brown, is a uh, azimuth motor. Okay? And this gray one is the azimuth position. So they connect to the board which uh, uh, tilts on 90 degrees. So, and ground wire from the motor, this one. And you would be able to pull it out smoothly. Okay, now I will be working, I have belts. It's set for 682, but it will fit perfectly here. The only thing I don't need capstan belt. And I have hydro tires. So I'm ready to start working on it. You may watch my videos. I've been working on the Dragon a couple of times before. I will have to disassemble the board, remove capstans, lubricate everything, check uh, how pinch rollers connect to the uh, capstan shafts because they have to touch at the same time. Okay, not uh, like uh, right, here is and left, and on us on the commission decks. It's it's made to have a good position for reverse because it has to uh, pull up tapes. I let me see. There is uh, I get in touch with owner. He says that um, deck was serviced in two thousand two. It's fine. Uh, I will be fixing, verifying everything. Owner told that there are some capacitors being changed. I don't see so far. Maybe they're on the boards. We'll see it a little bit later. See you soon. Bye bye. And here we go, I'm working. What I found different. So, uh, you know, capstans installed. And here is a slick plastic spacer, right? And on the front side, we usually have this uh, transparent spacer, but on this Dragon, there was also black plastic spacer underneath this transparent on each shaft, you see, on the other as well. So that's the difference. I haven't seen this before. Also, as you may see, this wire from the right coil goes through, through this hole. In the other decks, I have seen it goes through here and gets up here. So that's the difference. And here we may see small spacers on these shafts. Okay, and one more here. Okay, three. I don't see force. This has a bigger hole, so probably it's not needed here. Okay, moving on. So all those parts are critically important for the good performance uh, to make sure that uh, everything will be in position. Now I will pull up this panel and replace Adler. See you soon. Hey guys, while I'm working on this deck, what I don't like that head surface is not even. You see, it uh, looks like have some caveats. So here is a healthy head. So it looks perfectly flat under any angle. Okay. And now check this head. I just used the microscope. I don't see it's a big impact, but uh, we will see. Okay, see you in the next part. Bye bye. Okay, guys, and I have read an article on tape heads that on the Dragon reverse mode, back tension does by the belt which goes to the counter. Not. It just has two friction mechanism for each wheel, which sits on each side and work as a back tension when needed. So now I get to the idler, I will disassemble, 
I replace it. It looks to be plastified. So deck has been serviced 20 years ago in 2002. So now it's time to lubricate. Time like to put new rubber parts in it. Yeah, Adler is pretty hard already. Okay. And here I had to disassemble this uh, sensor board uh, to be able to remove the reel. Bye. Right. See you soon. Bye. -bye. And here guys, a new idler installed. As you may see, it's not so shiny as the old one. So it was time to replace it. It's, it's hard. It's plastified. 20 years. Okay, now I will lubricate and assemble in the reverse order. See you soon. And here guys, everything is assembled. So you may see idler rotates the reels. <laughs> the interesting uh, finding, I found the fourth spacer, which sits under these posts. And imagine it was inside this reel, between lower and top parts here. Okay. So, actually it was open it, it was serviced it, but it was done really good with some extent. Okay, and here you may see dust. Uh, from the older reel, it was used over time. I will clean up and continue assembling. See you.